<laughs> hey YouTube, it's Adam from Ama Music Mogul. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get a Party Next Door type piano vibe. So let's get straight to the tutorial. Before I click record, I recorded in some chords here using a Steinway Grand Piano. So we're going more for a mellow, darker vibe to a Party Next Door track, so let's go ahead and get to it. The first thing you want to do to get that darker Party Next Door sound, you're going to bring in an EQ. Now you can bring in a typical old EQ like that, but uh, I'm going to bring in a single band EQ just to make things a little bit easier. So let's go to single band EQ, stereo, and you're going to want to, let me just increase the size here, you're going to want to go to high cut, and we're going to filter out pretty much all the highs to get a darker sound. So depending on how dark you want to go and what sound you're going after, you're going to go to a specific frequency. Uh, if you want more of a pad sound, I'd recommend going under 400 hertz. If you want to keep some of that piano vibe in there, keep it around about 450. So let's meet halfway and go to 400 hertz. We're going to leave it at 24 dBs per octave. And the Q factor right here is going to act as our resonance knob. So what you're doing when you're increasing the Q factor, you're pretty much amplifying the frequency at its cutoff point at 400 hertz. So let's go ahead and move this up to get sort of a more darker tone. So you can push that up to taste around there, sounds good to me. So let's go ahead and close that up. So next thing we're going to do is going to bring in a passive EQ plugin, and uh, we are pretty much just going to widen up our sound using only EQ. Uh, it's a little bit more advanced, but uh, you guys are going to learn something cool right now. Uh, let's go here. I'm going to use uh, Native Instruments Passive EQ. Now if you've never seen a passive EQ before, a passive EQ lets you manipulate frequencies in both a mono and stereo spectrum and you can kind of manipulate them individually and it kind of gives you cool tools to leave room for other instruments. So I'm just going to switch this to mid side. Mid is your mono, side is your stereo. I'm just going to unlink all these. So the first thing that we're going to do here to kind of get a widened up sound and kind of clean up our lows, we're going to go to our high pass filter right here and go put it all the way up there. And what that allows us to do is to cut out low frequencies in our fully left and right stereo field and it uh, just pretty much leaves the bass in the mono. So you're going to feel the bass more in the mono than you are going to be on a left and right spectrum. And you're going to do the other thing. You're going to put a low pass filter on our mono side so that you hear the higher frequencies on the stereo side of things. And you're going to hear that it widens it up right there. The next thing we want to do to make this sound a lot more bigger and huger is that we're going to go over to our low mids right here and we're going to choose a frequency that is just above the high pass filter right here. So that's about 390 hertz and we're going to boost this up to taste. All right, that's okay just like that. Now we could go over to our high mids right here and boost just below our low pass filter, but our piano is pretty much low and we're not gonna really gain much. So our passive EQ is good as it stands. Here it is with it off. As you can hear, it's wider with just using an EQ. So let's close that. Now we're going to add in some movement to our sound. And to get movement, we're going to add in a modulation plugin. And we're going to use something called Tremolo. So 
we're just going to push the smoothness, smoothness down to 50%. And our depth, we're going to pull down to about 70 here. Just to get a little bit pulsing effect. And that's pretty much your party next door sound right there. Now, if you want to go more for the OVO sound, what you do is just bounce this in place. So control click on your region, go bounce in place. And then you want to split the track in the middle because we're going to reverse each region. So let's click on the region, go to file, functions, reverse. And let's do the same thing for this one. And if this window doesn't pop up, just double click it and it'll pop up. File, functions, reverse. And let's just put this in the proper place. Now you got like a moving piano OVO sound type thing going on. That OVO sound, Dre, party next door type vibe, it's all about cutting highs and uh, just adding some movement, reversing things, and uh, you got yourself a nice uh, OVO type track. So if you have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. For more great videos like these, remember to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, guys, I'll talk to you all in the next one. See y'all soon. Later.